In this short tutorial, you will learn how to set up Firebase for your Flutter project in three easy steps. So let's begin. Step 1. Installing Firebase CLI Go to the Flutter Fire official website and follow the installation guide there. As in the documentation, use the Node Package Manager to install the Firebase CLI tools using this command. You need to have Node.js installed in your machine to run this command. If you don't have Node.js, you can download it from their official website. Next, we need to activate the Flutter Fire CLI globally on our machine using Dart. Once this is done, the Flutter Fire and Firebase commands should be globally available. You can verify both by running Flutter Fire hyphen hyphen version and Firebase hyphen hyphen version to check if both have been installed correctly. The commands should output their respective versions. Now you need to configure your Firebase CLI so that it is logged in to your Firebase account. You need to run Firebase login and follow the instructions to do that. Once done, verify that Firebase CLI has access to your Firebase account by running Firebase projects colon list. This will render out your current Firebase projects in the terminal. Step 2. Configure Firebase for your project. Now navigate to the root of your Flutter project where you want to configure Firebase and run the Flutter Fire Configure command. In the output of this command, you will see a list of your current Firebase projects. You will also see the Create a new project option at the end of the list. Based on your preference, you can set up a new Firebase project or integrate with an existing one. For this tutorial, we will set up a new Firebase project and call it Runtime Snippets hyphen Firebase hyphen Test. With the arrow keys, navigate to the Create a new project option and hit Enter. Now enter the project ID in the next prompt. In our case, it is Runtime Snippets hyphen Firebase hyphen Test. After a few minutes of processing, the terminal will prompt that our new Firebase project has been created. In the next prompt, Firebase CLI will ask about the platforms for which you would like to configure Firebase. For example, you might not want to configure the project for web or for desktop. To do that, just use the arrow keys to scroll to the particular option and hit space to unselect it. Once you're done, press enter. The terminal will now create the required apps inside of your Firebase project. It will also iteratively check if the selected apps already exist inside your Firebase project, if not, it will create them. At this point, the output should look something like this, with your selected apps IDs rendered on screen. If you selected Android in the options, you should have a prompt stating that build.gradle files and app and root directory of the Flutter Android project need to be updated, asking you for consent. Just hit enter since this change is important. Once done, we can now see that the apps you selected have been generated successfully. To verify this, you can also go to your Firebase console and see that your Firebase project, along with the apps that you selected, have been created. Step 3. Integrate Firebase with your app. After Firebase CLI has generated your Firebase project and apps, you should be able to see a file called firebase underscore options dot dart in lib folder of your Flutter project. This file is responsible for passing platform specific settings for your Firebase project when Firebase is initialized inside your app. This information is held by the Firebase options class. There is an import error on line 3. This means that this file has a dependency on Firebase underscore core package. Let's import it. Add the Firebase core dependency to the pubspec.yaml file and then run flutter pub get from terminal or your IDE to fetch the package. Once this is done, you will see that all the errors in your firebase underscore options dot dart file are gone. We can now start writing code. Before we can use any firebase service, we need to first initialize the firebase app when the app starts. The most common place to do that is inside the main dot dart file before we call the run app function. So navigate to your main.dart file inside the lib folder and before writing anything above the run app function, we need to ensure that the Flutter framework is ready. To do that, we need to call widgets flutter binding 
dot ensure initialized then after this we need to call the firebase dot initialize app method make sure to add a wait before the call and make the main method async so that the app waits for the firebase plugin to initialize before the app starts once the app runs successfully it is safe to say that we have successfully integrated firebase inside our flutter app and now we are ready to use other firebase services if you like the tutorial please subscribe to our channel and follow our socials